In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate hair blowing in the wind and hair growing The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the hair tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Change the mode to particle edit mode. Change the view to the front view. Select the comb brush and comb the hair down. Change the view to the right view and comb the hair down. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Go into object mode. In the properties panel tick hair dynamics and click the black triangle to open up the panel. Click play and the hair flops down. Pause and rewind. When dynamics is turned on, the hair reacts to forces the hair is too weak to resist the force of gravity, so it flops down. If we change the stiffness to 3 and press play, the hair is springy enough to keep its shape. To add a wind force, scroll down. Click the black triangle to open up the force field settings. Scroll down and in type 1 select wind. Tick self effect, change the amount to 5, the strength to 10 and click play. The strength is the main factor for whether the wind is a breeze or a gale. To animate the hair growing, the hair length is not the property keyframed. The property is in the render panel under timing. It is the end time of drawn path. If I set it to 0.1, the hair is short. Right click and insert a keyframe at frame one. Go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame 100, make change, set the end to one. Insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. Rewind and play, and Blender interpolates between the two keyframes. That's the end of the animation part of the tutorial. I am going to talk about how I made this animation, but the animation techniques were the same the difference with this one was how I made the hair and the technique I used to make the hair was starting by making a scalp. I started with this version of the monkey head where I've edited and coloured the eyes, nose and mouth. If you want the file you can download it from my website. The next thing I did was make a scalp. Control and Z. To make the scalp, I duplicated the monkey head, hold down shift, press D and enter, and I called the duplicate scalp. I clicked the eye icon to hide the original head, and I went into edit mode and face select mode. Then I used C select, press C on the keyboard and select faces. Press escape, X to delete faces. And I used B select, press B on the keyboard, drag out a box, press X and faces. And I used select and shift select to select multiple faces, press X and faces. Jumping ahead, I just have three faces left to delete. Select, shift select, shift select, X, faces. Go into object mode and add a hair particle system. 
Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the button bar. Click the particles button. Click the new button and change the type to hair. Change the hair length to 1 and the hair colour to brown. Click the eye icon to unhide the original monkey's head. Then all I did to make a hair growing animation was turn hair dynamics on and keyframe the end property. The disadvantage of this method is that you have to make the scalp. The advantage of this method is that you don't have to add the hairs. Everything else works the same, except for Xmirror, which doesn't work. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.